Several underground explosions made for an exciting first day back for University of Oregon students. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Richardson in for Randy Smith. And I'm Brian Richardson. An underground electrical fire forced administrators to close parts of campus. KEZI 9 News reporter Lauren Michler was on scene as emergency crews dealt with the problem. She's live from the U of O with our top story here at 5. Lauren? Brian and Jen, UO police and fire crews had agate shut down between 13th and 15th all morning as they investigated mysterious explosions coming from this hole you can see behind me as they decided that it, an electrical fire had started and created these explosions and a fire that they couldn't even see. Just after 10 o'clock this morning, we had reports of a few small electrical explosions coming from a maintenance tunnel just south of our student health center. Those underground explosions and suspicious smoke clouds continued for over an hour, prompting authorities to evacuate the student health center and shut down power to multiple buildings, including dorms. And what we had to do was wait for a while for the power to get turned off safely for that maintenance tunnel area so the Eugene Fire Department could get down there and investigate the cause of that situation. Meanwhile, the university kept students and faculty informed via UO alert text messages. Emergency incident reported near the health center. Avoid the area. Emergency response is underway. More details to follow. Many students saying it was nice to see the alert service in action. At least in the time I've been here, this is the first time I've gotten a text message like this. It's usually more alerts that happen the night before. We don't like to have uh, live events that we have to do safety things around, but uh, we'd much prefer to have this as some dry run opportunities for testing all of those procedures we have rather than something that is much more serious. It took almost three hours for university and fire crews to secure and examine the underground fire before they could reopen the area to cars and pedestrians. And around noon, crews deemed the area safe. The fire is completely out, no more smoke or anything coming from there, but it's going to take a little while to determine exactly what happened. I'll describe it there's an overheating issue. So there is still power outage. There are still power outages around campus, mostly to the dorms that are here just surrounding the courtyard here that we're in. And we did get an email from the campus facilities office that says they described the failure as an overheating issue that caused the electrical circuits to ignite and melt. So that's what caused the fire that then caused the explosions today. And unfortunately, many students are still without power on campus, but they say they'll be working around the clock to get that power restored as soon as they can. Live in Eugene, Lauren Michler, KEZI 9 News.